Hey guys, me Mr. Casual, and I'm here with Mr. Musa. In this video, we're gonna be doing a fight reaction video to Darren Till versus Drickus Duplessis. So let's get right into it. All right, so I mean, what can I say? I I honestly thought I'm a, I'm a Darren Till fan. I love Darren Till. I love his personality. I love the way he acts. He's a good dude, you know. I just think um I was actually surprised that he wasn't as good um with this um takedown defense that I thought he would be because I'm thinking like he trained with Hamza for what, like a year and a half almost a year, over a year right. So I'm thinking like. He had to get better with his grappling. He's training with Hamza and all those guys. They're all monsters, you know, in that gym. You know, so I'm thinking, like, you know, he he, he should have got better with his takedown defense. I, I actually was expecting to see a new Darren Till. Better striking, better grappling, better conditioning, better overall, like, you know, like, just better, you know? And what I saw was worse takedown defense. And people were actually making jokes and memes, like, how you go train with Hamza and, and, and your takedown defense gets worse. So people were saying, like, how you get worse training with Hamza, how your takedown defense gets worse, how does your striking get worse and everything. Like, so in the first round, it was, like, a weird fight. Me and Mr. Moose both think it was a weird fight. Like, he was just getting hit, like, crazy and not doing shit about it to the point where the ref was literally going to stop it. And then Darren Sill was literally talking to the ref, like, no, I'm good, I'm good. He's literally saying, I'm good, but he's getting hit, like, 15 times in a row in the face. You know, usually in the UFC, if you get hit, like, four or five times in a row, six times in a row without an answer back and not defending yourself... Usually they stop the fight, right? And he got hit like 15 times in a row. And, and then they, Darren Till just kept talking to the ref saying, I'm good. If he didn't talk to the ref, I think the ref would have stopped the fight. But he talked to the ref and he convinced the ref, like, yeah, I'm good. And then the ref's like, you're not defending yourself, Darren. You got to improve your position. And then Darren Till eventually kind of improved his position. But the first round, Darren Till got destroyed, right? But the thing was, at the end of the first round, you could tell Drickus Duplessis was um being tired. He, he like blew his load. And he might, Drickus Duplessis in the interview might say he didn't blow his load, but he blew his load. Second round comes. Duplessis is exhausted. Like, Darren Till literally could have finished him. He could have taken him down and just been on top of him full mount the game over, you know? But, like, Darren Till just, like, you know, his, his one of his eyes looked like, looked, looked, like, looked like he didn't have an eye. It looked like, I thought he was going to lose his eye, honestly. Like, he was going to be visiting number two and have one eye. And he was just like, yeah, he was doing some damage to Duplessis, but he, he could have literally finished Duplessis in the second round. Like, he just. It didn't look good. It, it just like I feel like you train with Hamza and all these guys, you should be able to finish that easily. Like, like, like it won't you won't get like a better opportunity than that to finish a fight. The guy's exhausted. You're still good. You took some damage, but the guy's exhausted. Why could you not have finished Drickus Duplessis, right? And then eventually he couldn't finish Drickus Duplessis, but 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 he still won the second round. I feel like so. Let's say there until the first round was like a ten eight. Let's say a ten nine, but most likely a ten eight. Say there until won the second round. Right now, I'm thinking, okay, Darren Till needs to win this round, and it'll either be a draw or Darren Till will win, right? And then Darren Till is like, you know, but by this time, Duplessis has been like saving up his energy little by little. He got a little bit more gas tank because he's like, you know, he's just, you know, not using any energy, saving up in the second round. And then, boom, third round comes. He takes Darren Till down into full mount. So he's full mounted Darren Till as, as, I'm as he took him down. And then Darren Till, you know, got, he, he lost, he got submitted. And that shit was like the worst fight ever, honestly. And now I think Darren Till lost his last five out of six fights in the UFC. So unfortunately, I just think he might get cut. And because and, and that was a horrible performance. It was just really bad. And um, the thing is, I feel like it did expose was like that Drickus Duplessis gas tank needs a lot of work because he blew his load in the first round. I don't care what Drick Drickus Duplessis or anyone tells me. He was exhausted. The commentators thought he was exhausted. Um, Darren Till's, Darren Till's coaches in between rounds when they were sitting in the corner in between rounds, they're like, yo, he blew his load. He's blew his load. Go, go, go. And the, the second round with Duplass, you could tell he was exhausted. I don't care what anyone told me. He was exhausted. I think Drickus definitely needs to work on not blowing his load and maybe getting his cardio, making his cardio better because, bro, he was exhausted. He, he should have been finished. He should not have, you know, but he came back. Good shit, you know? But regardless, it's like, this Darren Till, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if he's going to go to bear. Not some, some guy said, don't be surprised if this time next year you see Darren Till and Bare Knuckle, you know? What do you think, Mr. Moose? I think, personally, that this was probably one of the worst fights I've ever seen in a while. Uh, both of their performances were very, like, they're, they were basically abysmal. And, uh, you know, I, I think that's it, probably the worst performance of the night. Uh you know, I don't think they should, you know, this is like a fight you should, I don't even know if like early pre prelims have something like this bad, you know, this was like horrible to watch. 
You know, they both were utterly, like, terrible there until I don't know what the hell happened to him. I don't know what kind of training they were doing, but it, it was, like, bullshit. It's like they probably took a picture of him and Hamza training, but then no, after no, the no. film. I'm sure after... that they're training. No, no, no. I'm not going to let you just say, like, their, their training wasn't good or whatever. Their training was after... good. You, you, you can't, you can't, not everybody can go to that level like Hamza. You know, there's people that are just on a high level and there's people that could train with them all day and not be in their level. You cannot say that it's because of Hamza's training. It's just there until, I guess, they didn't absorb anything he really learned because that's what it looked like. You know, but I'm sure the training was good because you see Hamza, right? He trained with a guy with the, the, the same roots, same training with him. So one guy like Hamza is a monster, but there until just, you know, there's some people that just can't grasp certain things. You know what I mean? You can't blame, like, the training on it. But Plessy, I don't know what the hell he, what kind of training he received, unless he was just like sitting all day drinking six packs and watching TV. So why do you, why do you, know. wait, why do you think that? Because it's cardio. But besides that, he's a good striker. Look, what do you mean? I, I mean, this was like you know, usually Duplessis when I watch him fight, he fights like definitely like a lot better, better than this. So it's I, a bad fight. What... Some people have a bad fight. He definitely had a yeah one of the worst performances in a while. So you know, there until whatever he's been going on a downhill for a while now. So you know, it is what it is. Uh, I mean, I think Darren Till is like one of those guys that in the gym he's like a, he's like a monster and does really good in in, in um training or whatever. But then in the fight, he can like translate what he learned and how he how he performs in the gym to an actual fight I, in the in the fight in the UFC. I think it's like a mental thing with Darren Till. And Duplessis, I think he's a really good striker, and I was actually surprised by his grappling. He has really good grappling. I just think he needs to work on his cardio. That's the only thing I think. You know, just he, and he needs to work on not blowing his load. You know, because he blew his load in the first round. But but to his credit, we you know we thought that Duplessis was gonna win the first round. No, like if, if, if the ref if the ref would have stopped that fight in the first round, Duplessis would have won, and we would have never known about the gas thing, the, the, his his cardio issue or whatever. Right? Let's be honest. Yeah. The, like he should have won that first round. And then in the first round, I mean, yeah, he couldn't close it. And then when he was already tired, I thought maybe he's gonna lose, but he didn't lose. No, but I'm saying I, I think I think he should have. The ref, the ref, bro. There until was talking to the ref. If like if it was, I feel like that was if that was Herb Dean. You don't think Duplessis would have won in the first round? They would have probably stopped the fight because he that was, was Goddard taking... or 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 Herb Dean. They would have definitely stopped the fight. He was taking a lot of punishment, and yeah, they probably would have stopped it because he wasn't, he wasn't yeah. doing anything. He was like, he wasn't defending himself. He was, he was he like this. He was like this, and he got punched like fifteen times in a row. He, that was he Herb needed, Dean. He, he would, he yeah, was fight. He, he needed to do something because you know, he was taking a lot of punishment for like quite a bit of time. You know, like he should have been able to like reposition him himself or something, but. That's why his eye was so swollen. He was just taking way too many hits. His eye looked bad, bro. His eye looked yeah, bad. I don't, I, yeah, I don't know how much of his eye could, he was able to, like, really utilize after that. Because he, he took a lot of punishment on that, you know. Oh, if he would have kept getting hit in the eye, he would have lost that eye, bro. I'm telling you, he would have lost that shit. Like, it looked bad. Like, you couldn't even see it. It was just all red. Like, the whole thing. You couldn't even really see, like, a pupil. You couldn't see a pupil, even. It was just, like, bad. But, uh, yeah, yeah, like, you know... I, but yeah, I hope Duplessis comes back and he's like, you know, better cardio. And this is a good little, this is a good win for Duplessis. Now I think he's gonna be fighting guys in the top ten. I I, I forgot what rank Darren Till was, but I think he was like number nine or something. He was somewhere like that in the top ten. So now Duplessis is gonna be fighting top ten guys. And I think his grappling is good, his striking is good, he's well rounded, has power. And he's a big middleweight. Like he like he even said in in, in post fight interviews, like he's like Darren Till is a small a small middleweight. That's why he overpowered him like that. You know, he had, like he was saying, like Darren Till had a, I mean, had a smaller frame than Duplessis. Duplessis said he just felt stronger than him when he grabbed him. That's why he, was, he like easily got a full amount on the third round of the takedown. But um, yeah, I don't know where Darren Till is gonna go from here. If he should go to bare knuckle or Bellator if the UFC cuts him, he, I think he'll do good in bare knuckle. If it's, it's, it's his grappling that's his issue, right? Mainly his, his striking is not that bad at all. Darren Till needs to go to Bare Knuckle and make like a, a little a nice amount from there. I know in Bare Knuckle they would pay Darren Till a lot of money to compete there for sure. You can make a lot of money in Bare Knuckle or you know the Bellator if he wants to keep doing MMA. I don't know. Darren Till lost his last five out of six. It's just not a good look for Darren. And you know he Darren Till in his one of his in the interview with Bisbing he was like, oh, 
You know, who cares? I just want to fight, Mike. I don't care. I just want to fight. Blah, 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 right? If you don't understand, bro, your, your fan base wants to see you win. We, we don't care about you just fighting. We want to see you win, Darren. We don't want to see you only fight. I, I'll watch your fights. Don't get me wrong, but like, I don't I don't want to see you lose like five fights in a row. Who wants to see that, bro? You look, not, you're on your third loss in a row right now. You lost your last five out of six. It's not it's just not a good look, bro. Like, you know, Darren still at one point was undefeated. You know, now he has like five losses, I think, or six losses, five losses. Yeah, it's not a good look, bro. I, I don't know. I think Darren still needs to like reevaluate what he's gonna do with his career from now on. He's, he's about to be he's 29, gonna be 30 soon. You know, like your takedown defense is not gonna get any better. I'm sorry, you trained with Hamzat for over a year and. Some, a year and a half, a year and three months or whatever, and your takedown defense hasn't gotten any better. I'm sorry, like you just never. It's never gonna get better. You're 30 years old. It's just never gonna get better. At this point, you should just really just go to bare knuckle boxing or something along those lines. It's, it's not gonna get better, bro. What's the point? Like, I'm sorry. There's no more point of like training takedown defense. It's just gonna be the same. You have no. He has no takedown defense at all. Like, like bro, Duplessis took him down easily, and he's not even like like really a grappler like that. You know, like he's like I'm just saying. Like, I feel like a real grappler. Would like smoke there until for sure, like 100%. You know, but anyways, guys, that, that's our reaction to the fight. You know, we love Darren until we only want to see the best from him. You know, and Duplessis, yeah, we, the only thing we criticism about him, we said, was his gas tank. He needs to work on his gas tank and he'll be a monster, I feel like. You know, and Darren until he needs to figure out where he's gonna go from here. I want to see him do good, I want to see him make money, you know, to feed his family and all that. I think Bare Knuckle will be the place for him for sure, where you just, just straight up just boxing with Bare Knuckles, you know, it's Bare Knuckles. So, that's definitely the place for Darren Till, I think. And I know a lot of people love Darren Till. They're going to think I'm hating on Darren Till or something, but I'm not hating on him. You know, I just don't want to see him keep losing and taking all this damage and keep ruining his career by keep by by the losses. You know, he has five out of six out of his last loss. It's really bad, bro. You know? Anyways, guys, be Mr. Casual. I'm here to Mr. Moose. Please like, comment, subscribe. Be safe, everybody. All right? Take care. <laughs>